This will be a day long remembered. Now I am the master. Welcome to another episode of Legends and Theories, and welcome to my review of the LEGO Star Wars Summer Special. And with this, there will obviously be spoilers. But it's pretty lighthearted and fun thing, so there's not really any major plot spoilers. It's just a lot of fun little stories that are told. And with it, if you... Yeah, I saw some of the reviews. If you want something that's fully canon, and only care about canon, then you probably shouldn't watch this. Because it's just a fun little special, but if you enjoy playing the LEGO games, I don't think you'll overall love this because, although I really did enjoy it, there were two things that I had slight problems with. The first thing is a little more major, the other one's just a small minor complaint about a missed opportunity. The first thing that is the more major one is that this feels like a giant ad for the Galactic Star Cruiser Hotel. And with that, there's not much you could do to fix this. And that's since they are set on the Halcyon, which is the Galactic Star Cruiser Hotel at Disney World. It's extremely overpriced and I don't think is worth it. And with that, it has even stuff that it doesn't have, with there being a, I think of its name, a pool out there when there's not one on the hotel. But besides that, there's nothing really much more to say that is a major complaint. But a more minor one is I feel like they could have went a lot more in on the sand jokes in the Darth Vader story with them being on a beach and everything. But still, I think that overall it's a really fun special and looking at it. Almost all the stories are great. Besides the little stuff set on the Star Cruiser, which does feel a little annoying. I feel just like something Disney wanted. Besides that, it is so much fun to go and look at this. And with it, the, looking at the three stories, probably my favorite. Honestly, I think they're all great stories. And it really depends on which one you want to have as your favorite. And I'd probably say the Vader and Palpatine one is my favorite. But it's still all really good. And the first story follows Obi-Wan on his first real uh, vacation when he runs into a rebel who wants his help and he decides to give it and he says them break into Jabba's palace to steal Coaxium. There's a really funny thing where Obi-Wan just goes and starts to sing and that was a really fun moment that I really enjoyed and with it I think they really did a good job just having fun with that and just seeing how Obi-Wan just went and was truly having fun for one of the first times and yeah I really did enjoy that. Looking at some of the other things in the story there's also a really fun appearance of Boba Fett where they have the theme from the Book of Boba Fett's finale and that was a really cool moment and yeah, overall that was a really fun story but of the three that was probably the weakest one although it's still really good I think the other ones just have a lot more the second one is 
Palpatine and Vader going to a beach party at Empire Day. And Scarif, and it's also an explanation for why Scarif is turned into a military base in Rogue One. And with that, honestly, it's a pretty fun story. And just the best part of it is the just relationship between Vader and Palpatine, which is really similar to Robot Chicken to Vader just trying to do his best, and Palpatine is just pretty cruel. And yeah, with that, I think that was really fun to see. And just looking at the rest, I think it was all just really interesting. And you have Palpatine just going into a rage fit about how participation trophies are completely useless. And the three, it's probably the most fun. And with it, I'd say probably my personal favorite. Although the third one is probably the deepest one, with it being Han Solo and his son Ben with their last trip together before. His son is taken to the Jedi Academy with Luke. And with that, you get a pretty heartfelt story where Han needs to learn to let go and start to trust his son. And with that, there's a few, like, you know, cliches in it. But still, I think that the story overall was done really well. I really enjoyed it and think that they did a really good job with it. But yeah, I think those stories, they're all fun and unique in their own ways. And the overarching story connecting it is Finn basically learning life lessons from the Force Coasts about just how to kind of enjoy the moment and, you know, adapt to things and just try to have the best time possible. With also jokes about how Obi-Wan Kenobi is really not that much of a fun person, and they all find it funny that Obi-Wan is telling Finn to have fun, which was, it was a pretty funny gag the two times they did it. But yeah, I think that with the story, it's, it is interesting, and honestly, I've kind of been enjoying these Lego specials more than some of the later films of the sequel trilogy. And that's kind of a bad thing on Lucasfilm's part. But you'll hear a lot more about that when I review the sequels either later this week or early next week. But still, I really do enjoy this. And I want to know what you think. Let me know in the comments. And I'll see you on the next episode of Legends and Theories. Thank you for watching this episode of Legends and Theories. Please subscribe, like the video, share the video, leave a comment, check out the video on screen, and may the force be with you.